Hi guys, this is an update to my uh, gimbal mount for the single burner stove I built for my sailboat. Um, the mount itself is pretty much the same. There's 4 inch diameter stainless tubing and 5 inch diameter stainless tubing. I just had a metal fabrication shop cut me off about a 3 quarter inch wide band of each one and that made the two circles so that the stove can uh, and I put some pivot points in there obviously using bolts and nylock washers and nuts um, so the stove can pivot forward and back and then a thwart ships so it's got a full 360 degrees of movement here uh, what's new is the mount I built for it I had used just a simple aluminum flat bar mount that I bent to shape and it was pretty long and it was grooved to fit onto these quick release mounts that I use for this little basket of stuff that I have when I'm underway. And so it snapped on there. That was kind of neat, but the problem is the uh, long arms of um, aluminum were very wobbly and it just looked kind of cobbled. So I built this mount out of mahogany and aluminum. It's much more secure. It has uh, a little lip in the front here that clips over this lip on this little removable seat I built for my boat and then it is attached to uh, a strap that I salvaged from an old bike rack that has a clip on the back and that clips over again the lip of the back of the seat here so there's no fastener holes or anything you just tighten down on the strap and it is rock solid you could shake the boat by this thing and so that holds it into place and then of course I have this little Stanley uh, Camp Adventure Cook Set. It was fifteen dollars on Amazon. It's a great little set that just fits right inside that four-inch diameter stainless tubing. I put uh, some nuts down here to serve as a stop to hold at the proper height above the flame and to keep this handle from hitting the ring and holding it kind of awkward. So it sits level. This is the MSR Pocket Rocket Stove. Uh, I just, uh, this is obviously a frame made out of aluminum flat bar, eighth inch thick, that I just hand bent to shape. But I drilled a hole big enough to pass the uh, flame tube through here. That unscrews from the base. So I unscrewed it, stuck it through the hole, and screwed it back in. And then I'm using a couple of screws here to just hold the burner head stable so it can't wobble around in there. And so, all together, I end up with a very nice uh, single burner cooking setup. This uh, Camp Adventure set comes with a little lid that can also be used as a strainer. Uh, it holds uh, about 24 ounces of water, uh, plenty for you know a little meal on the go. And it also comes with these two little cups that nest down inside. So if you're having uh, hot chocolate or SpaghettiOs or something like that, um, you've got everything you need in a nice little compact package. And uh, full articulation to uh, handle whatever way the boat wants to rock. The other thing I added is a little heat shield here with just some sheet metal on the back and it's screwed on with a single screw on each side. Uh, that's to deflect the heat so when the burner's on it doesn't travel up under this seat here and heat things up. Uh, I've only tested boiling water and uh, kind of holding it at a boil for about six or seven minutes and after seven minutes this seat top and bottom isn't even warm really. Uh, in fact, this part of the metal frame doesn't really warm up that much and of course the wood doesn't at all. So just these two inner rings get hot and the stuff right near the flame gets hot of course, the pot itself. But it's, uh, I think it's very safe. I don't think there's any chance that anything's gonna light on fire, at least if you're cooking less than 10 minutes at a time. Uh, I don't know what you would make in here that would take more than 10 minutes to cook anyway. So. That's it, the uh, single burner stove. Just wanted to update you and also to use my uh, cell phone camera here, which is a lot better quality, so you can kind of see the details of how I built it a little better, uh, using some washers to get the proper spacing and so on. All right.